Alright. Glanar and Hank. In the snow. Is everything okay, Lieutenant? Chris was on patrol last night. He was attacked by a bunch of deviants. Said he was saved by Marcus himself. Was Chris okay? Yeah, he's in shock, but he's alive. Right, um... Kamsky? What's Kamsky? Kamsky left Cyberlife ten years ago. Why did you want to meet him? <laughs> this guy created the first android to pass the Turing test. And he's the founder of Cyberlife. If anybody can tell us about Deviants, it's him. Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please, come in. Okay. I'll let Elijah know you're here, but please make yourself comfortable. Okay. That's the girl from the loading screen. That's weird. Okay. Well, um, wait for the android. Okay. Hey, Amanda. Amanda. Amanda Stern, AI professor at University of Cobridge. Oops. Nice girl. And I'll let the two. <laughs> An RT 600. The first Cyberlife android to pass the Turing test. I didn't ask for her technical specs, I just said she was nice. Okay. Take Nice addict. place. Space tourism under. Because androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody. Cyberlife. About to meet your maker, door. Connor. How's it feel? Wait, what are you saying? Uh, indifferent? It doesn't raise any existential questions. If that's what you mean. Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. Right. I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him. Analyze. Elijah Kemsky, Cyberlife founder. Resign 2028, inventor of Ethereum and biocomponents technology. All right. Well, let's have a seat. Stand. <laughs> okay. Elijah will see you now. Thanks. Mr. Kamsky? Oh, they're here. <laughs> Just a moment, please. That's weird. A red swimming pool. Nice view.
Okay, it's coming out. Strange. I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. Deviants. Fascinating, aren't they? Perfect beings with infinite intelligence. And now they have free will. Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't it ironic? Mm, deviants. Something in the Deviant's program seems to emulate emotion. We thought you might know something about how that occurs. All ideas of viruses spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that'll be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? Whose side are you on? Uh, direct? I'm on the human side, of course. <laughs> well, that's what you're programmed to say. But you. What do you really want? Defensive. I'm sorry, but I don't see what you're getting at. Chloe? I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. Your formality. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, it will see. Magnificent, isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. Young and beautiful forever. A flower that will never wither. But what is it really? Piece of plastic containing a human? Or a living being? With a soul? It's up to you to answer that fascinating question, Connor. Why? Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Or spare it, if you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. Okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out What's more here. important to you, Connor? Your investigation or the life of this android? Decide who you are. An obedient machine. Or a living being endowed with free will. That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. Connor! Don't! And I'll tell you what you want to know. Oh my god. Just listen to Hank. Don't shoot. Cyberlife's last chance to save humanity is itself a deviant. I'm... I'm not a deviant. You prefer to spare a machine rather than accomplish your mission. You saw a living being in this android. 
You showed empathy. A war is coming. You'll have to choose your side. Will you betray your own people or stand up against your creators? What can be worse than having to choose between two evils? Let's get out of here. By the way, I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. Why didn't you shoot? I just saw that girl's eyes, and I couldn't. That's all. You're always saying you would do anything to accomplish your mission. That was our chance to learn something, and you let it go. Yeah, I know what I should have done. I told you I couldn't. I'm sorry, okay? Well, maybe you did the right thing. So let's start from the beginning. So we meet Kemsky. Arrived with Hank and we got out of the car. The cops parrot in Capitol Park. Thanks, Marcus. Then we learned Chris survived. We followed Hank to Kemsky's place and Chloe answered the door. We entered the lobby, Chloe goes to get Kemsky. He was just swimming. <laughs> Then we read Space Tourism, Analyze Portrait, Analyze Painting, Talk to Hank, read Fortune Teller, Chloe Returns, we met Kemsky, Question Kemsky, Kemsky Test, we spared Chloe and we left Kemsky's house. Hank thought Connor made the right decision. Alright, well, I just did what Hank told me to do. So... I don't think Connor is a deviant, not yet, but let's continue. Oh, uh, Marcus, where are we? What's this? Let's see if it still works. I was wondering where you were. Think. I needed to think. I like it here. I come here often. It's like being alone with the world. We freed hundreds of our people and they're still coming from all over the city. Those who dream of freedom come to Jericho. Something's changing. You seem preoccupied. Uh, followers. They all obey me. They follow me without question. 
And that much power feels good. And scary at the same time. All the media are talking about what we did last night. The humans are terrified. They're afraid of a civil war. Many of our people were burned in response to what happened. The humans hate us. They'll never give us our freedom. The Germans. If they won't listen, we'll fight. You haven't said much about yourself since you've been with us. What was your life like before Jericho? Truth. I was caring for an old man. He was like a father to me. He showed me that humans and androids can live together. Norch bests. What about you? You never told me about your past. What did you do before? I don't want to talk about it. Trust me. North, we're fighting together. We have to know things about each other to trust each other. My life started when I arrived in Jericho. What happened before is my business. Okay. This is suicide. We'll all be killed. Please, Marcus, it's not too late to change your mind. You don't understand. We're finally gonna show them who we really are. This place will go down in history. We'll be killed on the spot. That's the risk I'm prepared to take if it means freedom for our people. Marcus, please don't do this. They'll understand. We'll make them understand. This is the only way. Oh dear. There are androids here who could join us. The more we are, the stronger our message. Okay, we need androids. Why, Marcus? This an android. Hello? You're free. <laughs> Still? There's an android. You're free. One more? Can we go upstairs? No. Okay. Come with us. <laughs> and here's one. Oh, is that one? You're awake now. 
This is just a human. <laughs> okay. Okay, outside. I've been on hold for like ten minutes. I have to block the road. Yes. I'd like to make a complaint. Comfort some more. Oh. Uh. Hey! Where do you think you're going? You get back here. Leave him alone. He's chosen to be free. Is that a creepy man? Oh my god, he looked like Todd. I need to block the street. Him. You are free. There's more. You don't have to obey them. You're free. Hey. Uh, that's most of the androids, I think. Oh dear. We're going to pro protest. Okay, comfort more androids. It's a car I look like. You're free now. Here we go. now. Let's march! Dispatch, this is Patrol 457. 
I got a lot of androids down here. I don't know, hundreds, thousands. Of... They're marching. Yeah, they're marching down the street. Uh, no more Fuck slavery. Fuck if I know. No more slavery. No more slavery. No more slavery. Equal no rights. No more slavery. Equal rights. Equal rights. Equal rights. Freedom. 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 Set us free. Freedom. Set us free. Set us free. We came here to demonstrate peacefully and tell humans that we are living beings. All we want is to live free. This is an illegal gathering. Disperse immediately or we will open fire. We're not looking for confrontation. We've done no harm. We have no intention of doing any. But know that we are not going anywhere until we have secured our freedom. I repeat, this is an illegal gathering. If you do not disperse immediately, we will shoot. Marcus, they're gonna kill us. We have to attack. There's more of us, we can take them. If we attack, we'll start a war. We have to show them we're not violent. We should just stand our ground, even if it means dying here. Dying here won't solve anything. Marcus, we need to go now, before it's too late. Oh no. This is your last chance. Disperse immediately, or you will all be killed! Stand ground... Attack! Don't do it, Marcus! Don't choose confrontation! Abandon. I can do this! Oh my god. We're going to die. Oh my god. your last chance we have to make a statement we have to stay put no matter what i know please marcus we can't let them slaughter us without fighting back just a take they have hurt us a lot attack
We won, Marcus. Alrighty, well, that was something different. Let's start from the beginning. So, freedom, march. Time to reflect on the roof. Then, we enjoyed time alone. Look at broken mirror, walk on beam, playing piano. North arrives, north leaves, share pest, ask north about pest, summer survived in public enemy reunited in Jericho Simon forgives Marcus in the mall we comforted security androids android cleaner personal android android defender comforted personal android be calm with owner prepare the march comforted delivery androids delivered delivery androids block the roads and we opened the manhole then we started the march comforted AX400, policeman blocks march, comfort androids hack screens, chant, raise hands, reach the plaza, police block the march, we stand, stand at our ground, police fire unprovoked. That was rude. Uh, then we charged, we won the fight. And... The police retreated and Marcus defeats the police. Whoa. So well, that was pretty scary actually. I thought I would die. <laughs> but we finally got some action and it was pretty cool actually. But we lost a lot of androids. But next time we can do it maybe a little more peaceful. But yes, that was it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next one. Bye!